Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to introduce you my favorite cushions. So I selected three types of cushions. So I selected a full coverage, a medium coverage and a light coverage cushion. So I think it is really hard to find the perfect cushion. Even me, I still didn't find my holy grail cushion. So I hope this will help you. So let's get started. So it is important to mention that my skin is a dry skin so all the recommendations that I will do will be based on my skin type so if you have an oilier skin pay attention of course I will mention if the cushions that I mentioned are really not suitable for oily skin but anyway what might work for me might not work for you but still I hope it will be helpful so this is the first cushion, the Neck of Face Water King Cover Cushion and this one is in the shade 21. There is also two other shades, the number 22 and 23 I believe and this cushion retails for 28,001 that is approximately I think 23 euro. So this cushion comes to be full coverage and really moisturizing and according to the website so it contains pearl particles to give a luminous glow and radiant skin without leaving any stickiness plus also it claims to be long wearing. So I picked this cushion because honestly it is the most full coverage cushion that I have ever tried except uh, the Clio Kill Cover but I really don't like this one but anyway this one is really full coverage and moisturizing so it doesn't dry out your skin, doesn't look cakey and so this is what I really love about it because it's really hard to find a full coverage foundation or cushion that is not drying so also what I like about it, it is like it is nice and light, it is not too thick on the skin, it is really moisturizing and smoothing at the same time. The only downside of this cushion is that there is a little bit of transfer. So for me, for example, I don't like to set my makeup because I have a really dry skin. So this cushion tends to get a little sticky and if I wear white clothes, it can transfer into it if I don't pay attention. So I really have to be careful with it. But honestly, this is only the first hours that you apply it. So after two hours, it sets beautifully on the skin and the finish is really amazing. So this is really my favorite cushion out of all the one I will mention probably. And I want quickly to mention that this cushion is really not suitable for oily skin. They have a pink version and this pink version is really perfect for oily sk oilier skin, I believe, because it is a more mightifying one, but I think that it is the same kind of formula, so yeah, check it out. My second favorite cushion is this one. It is a medium coverage cushion, and this is the Moonshot Microfit Cushion. So this cushion is more known as the GD Cushion, and if you don't know who GD is, he's a really famous singer in Korea. So this cushion is uh, actually from the brand Mouchette and this brand is owned by YG that is one of the most famous um, entertainments in Korea. I never thought I would buy something from an entertainment company but yeah this product is really amazing and also all the Moonshot products that I tried are really high quality so yeah. So this cushion is also 28,000 won, so 23 euro, the same price as the Neck Up Face one and comes also in three shades. And this one is the shade 101. So according to Muncha, this cushion is supposed to offer a natural dewy look with a lightweight and buildable coverage. And as it claims, this cushion is really buildable, so the coverage is quite light when you apply it at first but then you can build up to a medium and even maybe full coverage if you have a really beautiful skin. What I love about this cushion is that it is really lightweight on the skin and it doesn't look cakey at all throughout the day. It really sinks into your skin and just disappears and melts throughout the day so I don't think that this cushion is really long lasting but I prefer a non-lasting product rather than a really long lasting cushion and that look cakey at the end of the day. This cushion is more a satin finish rather than 
a really dewy finish so I really like it because it does not transfer and also if you have an oilier skin this one is probably better than the Naked Face one because you can set it and I think with setting it you will never have any problem throughout the day. As you can see this cushion gives a really natural sheen and a healthy complexion but this cushion is honestly more for people with a nice skin or also if you don't mind that we can see your redness personally I don't mind it so this I really love it. Last but not least the light coverage cushion is this one the PRPL Lip and Cheek cushion. So this cushion is 33,000 won so approximately 27 to 28 euros so this is the most expensive cushion among um, the one that I showed you but this one as I will show you also is a lip and cheek product at the same time so it can maybe justify the price difference so according to the website this cushion claims to cover and brighten the skin and also the pink curtain in the middle is made out of calamine Calamine, calamine, I don't know how to pronounce it, powder to shoes and uh, brighten the skin. So I will show you what is supposed to be the pink heart. So now it looks like this. There is no more pink heart, it's just all blend together because I used it alone. So what I like about this cushion is that it is really moisturizing. It really smooths out the skin and brighten the skin very well as it claims to do. So this cushion is a really light to natural coverage cushion so I think it is perfect for like your daily cushion if you don't want to apply a lot of makeup this is really perfect. The finish of this cushion is more of a nice glowy effect it is not extremely dewy so I really like it. So for the lip and cheek part so this part I am not a super fan of it on the lips because honestly it is really drying and it accentuates all the lines on your lips so on the lips I think it's a no no I really don't like it but on the cheeks I really love it it's just it's just a normal cream blush and I think it is good to have it um, with your cushion it is really uh, travel friendly the only downside of this cushion is actually the pink heart in the middle. I think that this pink heart is too like too brightening. You should be really careful. So what I do usually is just that I just take a little bit uh, on the middle part because I don't want my skin to look overly too white and have like this kind of really transition white face and yellow neck. So you have to be really careful about it. So if I had to choose one cushion among those three cushions, I would choose this one. The Naked Face uh, Water King Cover Cushion. This is honestly the one I reach for the most, uh, mostly because it is full coverage and I have quite a lot of things to cover my face. So yeah, this one is my really maybe holy grail. I hope that you liked this video and I hope also that it will help you to find your favorite cushion. If you have any recommendations, please let me know in the comment down below. I would be really happy to try it. So thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye!